Weekend. Yeah. Weekend's done. We don't have weekends as being a real estate agent, do we? Every day is a weekend. That's what I'm talking about. Every day's a Saturday. Every day. That's right. That's right. That's right. What'd you do? Uh, What'd you do this weekend? Saturday, I taught Quantum Leap. Oh. That's that was actually, pretty awesome. It's actually a phenomenal class. Should probably remember to put a microphone in my mouth. You know what? I might be able to. Yeah, I kind of reached in there. Is that better? Cast for one. We're good. We're good. I think so. Uh, taught Quantum Leap. So Quantum Leap was awesome. We had about uh, just, just under 20 young adults in there. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to teach the next generation. It was it was good. Had your actually, daughter. my daughter was in there. Yep, she, she didn't fall asleep. She didn't text the whole time. Impressive. I'd like to do a shout out to her for that. What it's what impressive. what else can we ask for for an yeah. eighteen year old? And Javier was in there. Javi so was in there. Diary, so so was they, did they fall asleep? They Don't did answer not. that. They okay. did not. Okay, it was okay. good. We had a good time. Quantum Leap is all about. Uh, if you had asked me prior to this what quantum is, I would think like. A huge distance but actually yeah. yeah but uh it's actually just small small adjustments and changes uh so very good very good class after that went home and did absolutely nothing the rest of the day nothing those days are awesome and sunday woke up uh, rode like 80 miles in the car in the car and <laughs> went to church <laughs> Uh, had lunch with my in-laws, and then we had some friends and friends over that are in town from Oklahoma. Nice. Talked a little bit about Oklahoma and uh, the Air Force Base that's over there. Tinker. Tinker. Yep. So, yeah, maybe Good. come to Oklahoma. Good. What'd you do? I did actually ride 80 miles. <laughs> did you really? I did. Like I really <laughs> did. On, on the bike. I really did. That's awesome. So, yeah. Show so, off. But other than that, that's about it. I had some friends over, so that was kind of cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I appreciate it. So, what are we going to talk about today? Um, we had a couple I of think topics to come up with. This is all impromptu, so we kind of like, hey, what are we going to talk, yeah. uh, talk about? Legacy. Yeah, talk about legacy. A lot of, uh, we talked about that in Quantum Leap, is when you are in your 20s, you don't really think about the legacy you're going to leave. And as you get older and you have more responsibility, uh, legacy becomes a big one. So, uh, legacy. Legacy. So, my wife and I have. That's been the conversation we have a lot now is the legacy that we're leaving and the memories we're making uh, before, you know, when it comes to spending money, especially is that's one of the way that we, ho we held our money accountable is, is this purchase going to be something that's going to help us leave a legacy or something that's going to be remembered by our kids? That's interesting. Yep. Um, I think it's very important. And I think a lot of people don't look at uh, time when it comes to leaving a legacy. In other words, you know, uh, let's, I'll be quite candid, you know. I'm, uh, we talked about this before. I'm cresting that 50 mark, and it's not that uh, I'm scared of anything, but the thing is, is I've got more yesterdays than I do tomorrow. For sure. And by looking at it that way, it's like, okay, now what do I want to pack in in the next 10 years, you know, um, as much as possible, obviously. But I don't think you think about that in the early days. When you're, you know, no, when you're in your teens and 20s and maybe even 30s, don't even think about that. But I think that, you and I both, so you and I have had different career paths um, that have cumul cumulated, cum cumulated, cumulated, cumulated to where we're at today. Um, but both you and I have walked in paths and lives that you've been around people um, that have lost life or loved ones. So uh, for those of you who are listening um, or that individual that is listening to this podcast, um, one, maybe. one, one, yeah. maybe, um, you know, you were, uh, 20 years in the air force, several deployments. Um, some, some people, uh, left uh, a base, um, or for some routine, didn't come back. Um, and having to walk people through that, uh, being a pastor for years. Uh, so I, uh, in the end of March did the funeral of my best friend from high school. And then 30 days later did funeral for um, our family's best friend, um, both both in their 30s, both uh, from cancer. Like, I think that you and I realize, though, that it, it, years, we're not guaranteed anything. Nope. In that. that that's, that's a huge piece of it. Yeah. So I think, you I think that. you and I both understand that, yeah. that each day is a gift in its own right. Yep. As long as I'm above the green today. Yeah. 
It's all a good day. And that's the thing, you know, I think the more and more you think about that, it's it's pretty interesting. Actually, you know, Jay Papazan just did a uh, video. Okay. Um, actually, well, he did a uh, TED Talk. So explain to those to who Jay Papazan is. Jay Papazan is. is a, what is he? He's an author, a business author is what he uh, uh, kind of named he's, himself. He's he the, wrote, he's, wrote a couple different books. He's the color commentator for Gary Keller. Yes. So, um, so there's a lot of good stuff that comes from him. And uh, he was talking about... Uh, how he took a different look at life, which is pretty interesting. Is he goes, you know what, five years out from now or 10 years out from now, my kids right now are, I think they were like seven and nine. In 10 years, they're going to be theoretically leaving the house. So he was planning a, a trip, and it was really unique because he's like, yeah, we're going to have a staycation, you know, thinking that was the, the, the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And it ended up being Gary's son, Gary Keller's son, that, uh, mentioned something about the fact that he goes, you know what, um, is that really what you want to impede onto your kids here and really have a, a lasting memory, you know, in the long term? So he had to, he went back home and he thought about it. He's like, really? He goes, oh man, I've got a limited amount of days or years with him. And then ended up being, I've only got, you know, eight to 10 years of spring break with them. Yeah. And then not only that, but in their later years, those teens aren't going to want to be with just mom and dad. For sure. <laughs> They're going to be friends and all that. So he goes, you're even even shortened so he goes so i really have to take advantage of that time when i have that time so it was kind of unique to listen to that but looking maybe this is the way i was growing up i don't know if it or brought up i don't know if it impacts you is for some of the best like we went to hawaii and stuff where you know we the best memories i have growing up is uh my dad's always had a green thumb He's, he's always, like, he can take any piece of dirt and turn it into, like, this mm. beautiful backyard. So we used to take weekly trips to the nursery um, growing up in San Diego. Some of the best moments that I can remember where I look back and I was like, man, that was fun, was in my dad's single cab Chevy driving down <laughs> driving down Black's Road. It's a no dirt seat road. Belt. No seatbelt? Yeah, no seat. No, we were right on the dash. Sweet. Um, <laughs> listening t- listening to, mu- to music from the 60s. Mm-hmm. Um, and going to the nursery, you know, I, like that, that was, it's, you know, that you, was it. and that's the thing. You didn't have to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on a trip somewhere no. or something like that. And that's, what's unique. You know, I, I did a, that trip out to Haiti and yeah. I think we talked a little about that. And it's we'll like, talk about you know, that. Today. They have so little yet they have so much, mm-hmm. you know, and I think it goes back to that concept. I think in we, as in our society, we tend to get wrapped around all the busyness that's going on. And it just starts to sink in to our just, you know, starts to agitate a lot of people because of the fact that that's the small stuff. Just let it go, you know. Uh, when we were talking about Quantum Leap, I said, yeah. I said, this is not in the curriculum. This is a freebie is do not get caught up in the comparison trap. Oh, my goodness. Like, yeah. don't give up. And, and it's not so it's all it does is become more expensive when you. Go on, right? So you're but saying a comparison trap, keeping up with the keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah. Series, so series, an example is uh, somebody gets the new iPhones. So now oh. you got to get the new iPhone. Yep, so that's iPhone. cheaper when you're in high school or whatnot. But mm-hmm. but I, I noticed it a little bit myself was when uh, young twenties and, and all of our friends start buying houses. Oh, so everybody has to get a house. Well, not even that. Was it was get the bigger house, the it, better house. It's got to mm. it, it's got to have one square foot bigger. Got it. That type of stuff. Now, like, I am, I am blessed beyond belief to have married one of the least high maintenance people on the face of this planet. Is I could have my wife and my kids in a two bedroom house, and as long as we have Mexican trained dominoes, <laughs> well, we have the same. Thing. Yeah, like it's just rock on. It's just <clears throat> not. It's not yeah. worth it. So, but that's that's kind of legacy. I want to leave my kids because I don't want to set them up for failure and heartache and debt. You know, we, we you bring up the we bring up the legacy piece. And I think it's kind of interesting because a lot of people, you know, have this desire to write a book or you know um, figure out how they're going to leave their legacy. All these different writings and whatnot. I, I'll be quite candid. You know, we've got the technology today, and I think that's kind of what this could be. You know, we could be talking about our different topics, and we're the ones explaining it through a video format. This, could be, our, this could be our Who, book. That's right. Because here's the deal. Um, quite honestly, I don't read books anymore i actually they're all audio books yeah you know um and i don't really so if i have an audio i will listen to it you know I, this last weekend I, I already went through a, an entire book 
so to speak. Yeah. But if I had to sit at home and read a book, I probably would not have done that. I would have made it through two, three pages and fell asleep. Yeah. So yeah, I think this is a form of leaving a legacy. Absolutely. And that way it's coming from us. The tonality is coming out the way we want it to, et cetera. And then they are able to look at it and go back at it any time. I think it's that's multi, really, really it's, neat. It's multidimensional Absolutely. because it's no longer just text. It's I think it's a really neat concept too to possibly interview family members. Mm-hmm. You know, because if they end up uh, passing one day, you've got an archive of videos of them to where you could talk to your grandchildren or or yep. whomever about, and it's actually them telling the story, not you trying to live it through their eyes. I got an idea. What you got? So we're driving to Las Vegas on Friday? We are. Is it this Friday? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, yes, we are. This Friday, um, I say we get the recorder. Won't okay. It won't be video. We get the recorder. We do a podcast in the car. On the road? On the road with our wives in the truck. As long as it's not live. It's not live. Okay, let's do it. There's a, trust no, I, me. I think it would be I think it'd be a great idea. It'd be fun. And yeah. we're not gonna get cell service in WikiUp. No. <laughs> There's no it's not gonna happen. No. And then uh yeah, and then we're leaving what? Two weeks, dude. Two weeks. So by the time these people see this, it may or may not be two weeks from now, but uh two weeks we leave. Yep. It's gonna be crazy. Back time. That's neat. Um so we'll see Yeah, you so looking at leaving a legacy is is a huge one. Um I, I think that that's got to be top of mind, and I wish it's something that uh, would be top of mind uh, sooner for me. You know, I think identifying it is one of the biggest pieces. Yeah, I really do. Absolutely, I think, I think it really is. I think when you're, you know, we're all leaving a legacy one way or the other, whether it's positive or negative. Is true. Is it the key? We're that's writing the storybook to our own life, and you know what? We're the ones with the pen, and we have to be able to. Put it down. That is extremely accurate. So, you're you're yeah. you're leaving a legacy. Um, you get to determine the content. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter that's what cards are dealt to you, right? That's a quote right there. Is it? That's a pretty you're good. Leaving you a, you're leaving. Can put a little initial on that? You're leaving a legacy. You get to decide the content. That's right. Gosh, bang, boom. You know what? Yeah. Coffee. That's it. Coffee. You know I was I was done until I had this delicious cup of. Well, you um, had the cup that was melting or whatever the heck it was, it was leaking all over the place earlier. So. Just yeah. Totally awesome. Oh, soccer. Yeah. Do you know? You who, know do you know who won this weekend? You know what? I did hear. Um, heard? I heard that France won. I don't know. About right. That. So yeah. France won, um, and they Spain won. Spain got beat. I well, know that. Well, France won, and then they um, volunteered to give up the trophy. <laughs> Um, they, for- so they, they, bought, they, they forfeited, they forfeited <laughs> after they won. Oh, that's classic. In true French fashion. fashion. Yep. That's good. Yep. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what's what going was on. really cool. What was really cool about that? Uh, the reason why they won is because their goalie was stuck in this position the entire game. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. That's good. You're bad. You're bad. That's good. You're that's good. bad. Uh, ser- seriously, to our one French listener, I don't care. What else we got to talk about here, real quick? Um, shout out. Oh, let's do a shout out real quick. Dude, I got a shout out. Do it. My buddy, Greg Cash. Oh, yes. My buddy, Greg Cash, I used to work with, um, same church together, and then he moved off to Israel to go teach film. Phenomenal uh, film guy, and now he works for an organization out in California called Stand for, Stand, Stand for Reason, um, do it shooting film, and dude's out here on vacation uh, visiting his family, and called him up and said, hey, what would you charge uh, myself and Aaron to kind of shoot a promo video for one of our businesses um, and it, uh, about expansion? And he said, let me check the conversion ratio, and, and it was a 100% discount. So yeah, I was he, I was expecting He rolled him, in here with the Hollywood uh, dude, studio kit. I was expecting yeah. him to show up with a camera and maybe a light, and we walked in yeah. here, and it looked like yep. it was – Universal Films. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hopefully, cool. I'm going to look 10 years Actually, younger. Yeah, it made me nervous. Yeah, that was it one of the first really times I've seen you get nervous. So, I mean, there were lights beaming everywhere, and I was starting to break a sweat. I, sh- I was just like, man, this is my yeah. life. Yeah. And I have well, two shout-outs. Shoot. I, let's, let's hear it. I got Stuart Title. Okay. And I also have Paul Volpe. Both of them cut checks for $2,500 for these uh, hand cyclists. Yeah, it's awesome. So, They're in... They just crossed the border and went into either North Dakota or South Dakota. The Dakotas, how about that? There you go. doesn't matter. They're all the same. It's freezing tundra up there anyhow. 
in the middle of the summer. It's still, that's yeah. I wouldn't doubt it. Oh, I, I know Montana still has snow up there. They were trekking through that. Why would you want to I don't know. up there? Well, I'd take it back. The, I'd move up there tomorrow it's in a heartbeat. The wilderness. It's a beautiful country, though. Yeah, for sure. That's for sure. why there's nobody there. Um, so. What else we got going on? We leave for Vegas. We got uh, Fourth of July coming up. Um, yep. Fireworks, family, fun. Um, dude, let's wrap this up. Let's why is laughter so important? It's because we've we we're just talking about this. <laughs> we were just talking about this before we got on. Why is, is it important? You and I have had no less than a dozen people come up to us in the last couple weeks, month, and go. You guys just seem like you're having fun all the time. All you guys are doing is screwing around, laughing, and having fun. Um, what's your response? I know we're to having that? fun. Yeah, screwing around. Sure, if that's what you call it. We call it productive. This isn't a we, job. We call it productivity. Uh, yep. I get. I'm here again. I choose to do it. Yeah. I choose to have fun. And that's the thing is don't get into an environment where you don't have fun. Yeah. And then um, I think laughter wraps everything together. Yep. It just kind of wraps it all up. So it goes back to the thrill piece, the, you know, trust, honesty, respect, integrity, loyalty, and laughter. That's why. It wraps it all together. It's so you've got to have fun doing what you're doing. Otherwise, you, it's going to be a job. Like early, earlier to today, we literally explained how b- babies were made to a mid-20s individual. Yeah. <laughs> It was. Oh, poor hobby. <laughs> You're not supposed to say oh, his no, name. Oh, no names? No. Sorry. Hobby. It was hilarious. Yep. Um, no, man, we just have a good time. We just. What? You're going to work I, regardless. I think, you might as well I have fun laughter, doing it. Though, I think laughter is one of those situations to where you, you really got to understand that, you know, you, you, they, they say what? You only live once? Which is so very true. Yep. YOLO. Yep. That's it. You good? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, so we will be back not before the 4th of July, no. uh, after the 4th of July. So just for the record, 10 fingers. 10 toes. 10 toes. We'll see. Uh, we'll, All right. we'll just. We'll just. We'll see how good 4th of July was for the uh, podcast after. Yep, I'm good. Eyebrow. <laughs> One eyebrow. <laughs> All Adios. Right. Hey, guys.